No? Okay, let's go. Five. Let's go to the zoo! Five. Are you still looking at me? Okay. What do you guys want to do first? Which path? Where should we go? Whoa! Wow. Do you want to go snakes? Okay. You want snakes? Okay. Okay. You guys lead the way. Do you like vegetables? Yeah. Turtles like vegetables. What's up there? You going to the toilet, Nick? So where are you? So we are like here. So we need to walk there, there and up to the boat. So we are here. Right so what's next on our... our we need to go to lions and we go to these. We're going to the pit pose. The pig pose. Let's go. Mm. 
Virunga Woman Sewing Co-op. Do you know how to use this? Do you know how this works, Aria? No. Okay, you put your foot on this. You put your foot on this. You're on the wrong side of it, Nika. So. You put your foot on the the that. Yep, and just keep. Yeah, because there's no a rubber on it, buddy. Yes, the hippos can swim in the water. We're gonna go up and get a better, get a better look at them. Yeah. What do you reckon he's gonna do? You reckon he's gonna go in the water, or you reckon he's gonna lay down? So, open. Good girl. So, uh, what I've got here are loose and cubes. Oh, and I'm a terrible throw. Uh, <laughs> so, they're basically just loose and hay that's been condensed down into a cube form. Uh, and they're very, very sweet. So, anybody with horses or anything like that would know that loosen is basically chocolate for these guys. Um, so, that's what that's like for them. Oh, you found that one in the water. Good girl. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh, still one here at the front they haven't found. Oh, look at this one. This one. Oh, look at him. Yeah. The one in the tree. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Look how close he is. Yeah, tiger. What sound does a lion make? Hey, what sound does a lion make? Yeah. Do you reckon they make that noise? Um, so we've got a, quite a lot of lions here and we've been breeding them over the last few years. It's very exciting. Um, we obviously do our bit for the breeding programs to, to ensure that genetic diversity because although we've grown up with the images of lions in cartoon books, in, in movies, thinking about the Lion King, we tend to actually think that there might actually be quite a lot of lions out there that actually seem to be going okay. Um, but the truth is, um, they're just as vulnerable to extinction just as a lot of other animals. So as much as we can care about our animals here at the zoo, um, we do need to do our, our bit um, for the wild animals. And on top of that, there are our zoo members. How many zoo members do we have? 30% off in the zoo today only. So Christmas shopping. And that's a good excuse to, to head over, um, and even to ticket office if you're not, not a zoo member. Today's ticket price does go towards zoo membership if you want to sign up on the day. So go Christmas shopping. Um, but I'm talking too much. Um, here you go. Here's Christina, everybody. She's here to talk about our beautiful bride.
The staff get 30% off as well on my go shopping too. Yeah, yeah, I think we do. So, welcome. Yeah, my name is Christina. These are beautiful lines. We've got nine lines all together. And as you could just experience, it's not everyone's favorite. So, uh, Aziza was like, mm, I have a lick here and a lick there. And thank you very much. Not my, my cup of tea. Uh, but that's fair enough. So, we try to really spice their diet up with lots of different things. Uh, they get, as you see, chicken, rabbit, beef. Uh, kangaroo so they've got a quite a wide variety um, and we also do carcass feed so big pieces of uh, animals we put out so they can work together as a pride and le really get stuck into their food. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Look at the lion tail. Cool, hey. Goes all the way down to the mini swimming pool. Scimitar Horned Oryx group. There are species of antelope that are extinct in the wild. And we're very lucky here today. Two of our one month old baby calves coming over to say hello. And as we get ready to make a little bit of a river crossing, see if you can spot our mother and daughter hippos. Lying down on the beach having a bit of a snooze is six year old Pansy at 1200 kilos and going for a walk and enjoying that lovely cloudy sun is her mother Brenda Bella at 1900 kilos. 1900 kilos. Yep. Now they're a very dangerous animal everyone because they're so territorial they hate to share their space but we do not want those ostrich to run back into the hippo pond. The hippos will not be happy. So scattered amongst the field and in the trees, on both the left and the right, we have all of our eland antelope, <laughs> the biggest antelope in the world. Keep an eye out for our smallest antelope. His name is Hercules. We might see him as we make our way around the road. As well as our unicorn antelope, eland. So we have something a little bit more important to spot. And you can see her having a bit of a rest on the right here with mum and a few of the aunties. Down here on the savannah we've got a trio of southern white rhinos. Sitting by himself on the left is our male Unga. In the middle with the long straight wheel is the top one. Leader of 
all of our males and females. And you're probably looking at these rhinos and thinking they're absolutely massive. They're big and strong. Nothing can stop them. But their numbers around the world are declining because a lot of people hunt them illegally for their horns, believing they have medic medicinal properties. But their horns are made up of keratin, the same protein that makes up your hair and fingernails. Taking it nice and slow, just in case there's a zebra crossing up ahead. <coughs> a little bit slow to vacate the road at the moment. And it is a quick reminder to everyone, please stay in your seats. Hey, a little bit closer. If you thought this was an awesome episode, like and sub, just like I said just then, and leave a comment if you thought it was really good. See you later, guys. Bye.